Welcome back to Consumer Labs. We're going to talk about how hot can an ROG Cephas Dual 16 get. You know, it's a 2022 edition. And, you know, listen, it's always good to know exactly how your system run. Is it going to run too hot? You know, this system here, as you can see, it's a dual, right? It's got two screens here. Two, not one, but two. And I'm going to be telling you honest truth. You know, this system, it's a beast. It's the best. I mean, it's literally the best. And by the way, I'm not getting paid by Asus at all, right? Asus makes this laptop and they ain't giving me a dime. So I'm telling you, this laptop is so, so unique. But, you know, you can look at my past video where I go over a lot more details on the laptop. So... Today, we're going to talk about the heat dissipation. How much heat will this laptop give off? Comparable, say, to maybe the Mac Pro. So, let's get it going. So, first of all, in order to conduct this test, I need some test equipment. And I have here thermal imaging cameras. And plus, I have some custom designs as well. And the reason why I have it is just so I can make sure I get the most accurate reading as possible. And also, I want to take the temperature from different angles and directions and the whole bit so you can see from the screen there that it's showing a maximum of 99 degrees a minimum of 70 and basically a center temperature of 92 degrees that temperature that you see 99 degrees you might be saying hold up that's really hot by the way that temperature that you see is not from the fans running it's not from the processor that's from the wires being attached to the screen. So if you look carefully at the picture, you see that there is a certain spot there that's showing 99. That is the wiring that's going to the screen, and that's normal. In comparison to the Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch, you can see also that there's a temperature of 90 degrees once again this is normal this is the wiring being connected to the screen so that heat that you see is not being dissipated from the processor or the graphics it's just the basic wiring being heated up to that temperature and now with the asus i also measured the temperature underneath the unit and once again it showed a temperature maximum of 95 minimum of 88 and it sent the temperature about 91.7 degrees. Once again, this is normal. This is not abnormal. This is just the internal workings of the laptop. It's not dealing with the processor overheating or the graphics card overheating. This is basically normal. Is it too hot to put on my lap? Absolutely not. Remember, this is a thermal imaging camera, so it's measuring the temperature inside the unit. But as far as the touch was concerned, it wasn't too hot to touch. Now, just for comparison, I measured the internal temperature of the MacBook Pro 16-inch with the M1 chip. And as you can see, it also ran between 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So, as you can see, the Asus ROG Sephiroth 2022 dual panel. It's an amazing laptop. It really is. It's very good it doesn't dissipate a lot of heat and if you look at that asus and then you look at the apple laptop right the apple mac pro 16 and it's amazing to me how the apple laptop internally that is actually dissipates just as much heat as the asus and mind you the asus is a double screen laptop it's got a 3070 ti graphics card it's a much more powerful graphic running machine than the mac book you know it's just it's just, it's amazing but anyway to summarize it uh it's a great laptop and we're going to keep doing more videos on it and we're going to show you different things different aspects about it um we want to do something on the screen quality, the color resolution, and et cetera, and some of the, obviously, the software as well. And um, we'll take it from there. Until next time, stay tuned to part three.